so good to get it out. Like we've had had so many songs for a while. Yeah, I think the EP is like the way we were feeling about things that were happening to us. You know, for me it was obviously about like the crazy world that we're, we're living in, you know. A lot of sort of like learning about relationships and life and how you deal with things. I guess it's like a, a young adult sort of growing up and learning, doing things for the first time. <laughs> Yeah, it's our third show of the year, is it? And we've got our drummer, which is great. Surin Anka has planned an amazing lighting extravaganza. extravaganza. We're, we're stoked that we're able to put on our own show too and make it our own, you know, um, in a place that we've never been before. We've got the voice of No Comply opening for us and keeping the vibe in check. We used to be in a band from high school called Nawal. It's a psychedelic rock band. So Maurice was the singer, I was the bassist. And then when that kind of fizzled out, we kept making music together, just sending stuff back and forth. And then we had to finally do it live, so we had to try to work out how do we do it with two people. And that's kind of how we started crafting the sound. I think lately, I don't know, I think I do know now. So I didn't know then, but I do know now. So it's, um, it's a moment in time, really, of our lives. We wrote those songs and how we were feeling then, you know. And not necessarily feel that way now, but it's um, it's a sort of capsule that you know started when we first wrote the first song, and now it's over, you know. It's it's out. It's it's it's, um, it's finished. <laughs> over and over it's been kind of a demo playing around for a while that we've been playing live um, it's always been in our set just because it's we love to play it and um, it's just slowly evolved playing it live and I mean feeling the reactions of the audience and um, building it up and dropping it down so it's been with us for a little while so it's really good to finally finish it and then get it out there being able to, to spend the time playing it live and, and refine it and then you know, take it into the studio and record it was, was cool because it's we always really had a special connection with that track, you know. Uh, the melody just came naturally. There's always guitar and vocals. We always just jamming. It could come like instantly or we just play it over and over for an hour. You kind of form patterns as you're making it that you come back to and then it's always a bit of a process. The song already knows what it wants. You just have to allow it to come out. It's about like a, a sort of like a spy meeting, um, so like a group of spies perhaps meeting at this hotel and you're just happen to be there and yeah it's, it's sort of centred around that really. Yeah and then a mysterious woman walks in, could yeah. be Angelina Jolie, could be a spy woman, <laughs> it was just like, it was like the first time writing like a concept song. Oh, we imagined yeah. where Maurice was and then just this mysterious lady. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they just like arrived. And, I don't know, maybe I was watching too many movies at the time. <laughs> but I think the music sort of dictated that, you know, like the, the feeling of that, you know. And we were just like, once we committed to that, that concept, we sort of just went all in and um, painted this, this picture. Yeah. Jamie had been watching like Kill Bill as well. So the solo you do is very like sort of spaghetti yeah. western. Imagine like, like an Austin Powers dance song. Yeah. With spies. With spies. And. Oh, Angelina no. Jolie. Yeah. Uh, we wrote Honey by the Beach, actually. That was... We were about to go to sleep, I think. It was really late. And we'd been writing all day, and then we just, like, sprawled out on the beanbags. Jamie had, like, was over, way over there, and I was over there. And then... We started playing the riff, I think. We wrote it really quick, in like an hour or so. Um, the bones of it, um, recorded it, went to sleep, woke up, we're like, oh cool, this sounds good. And then we really sort of refined it from there. And then obviously, yeah, we worked with Cody with that too, so that was awesome. We just sent him the song and he really liked it. And he wanted to work on it, so we hadn't met him before. And then, yeah, it was just awesome going to, he's like one of our 
one of our heroes in the music world, so it was awesome to be able to work with him. He did production, so recording, he did, and he played the drums, and kind of reinterpreted the drums that we sent him, which were a demo. So yeah, he brought a lot of, a lot of Cody Nielsen to the track. We reached out to this guy, Dimitri Basil. We saw him in his videos previously. He's done Kings of Leon, he's done Joy Way, two people as well, and loved his videos. And we're like, wow, this guy's sick. Like, he's not, he had his own sort of quirkiness to, to the way he shots. Yeah, we messaged him and he liked the song. What do you say? It always felt good live. Um, people always connected with it too, so um, we knew that we needed to, to hang on to it. We decided to just do a random video by ourselves, so we walked around with a UE Boom and Maurice's iPhone and just started shooting things and then um, finally decided to try to do like a one take video. Yeah, it was a good lockdown video. Yeah, well, we kind of just committed to the idea that we were gonna shoot it and get it done in a day, you know? All I say is what I feel when the light comes down. That's the, the lyric and it's um, sort of looped over and over. And it says now that I've found love, which is about falling in love for the first time. So it's about lying down, the lights off, and, and being totally sort of you know, open to how you feel and, and it, in a great way, you know? So it's actually, a, it's sort of like a self-realization. We wrote it actually before 2020, the famous year. It's just, there's still a lot of well, a lot of things going on around the world. We just that feeling of you don't know what's going to happen in the future around the world. Trying to sum that up, but also be positive about it. Just thinking about people who are listening and trying to let them know that it's all going to be all good. Yeah, it's sort of the uncertainty around um, things in the future that you can't really control, but they affect you. I feel the music running through your veins. Let it run right through you. Let it ease the pain. And that's like a, a nod to like music being the sort of supreme like healer to make you feel relaxed or, or, or calm you down. And, if you're feeling crap, or, you know, or, sh or down, or whatever, or even happy, what do you do you listen to music? Thank you everyone for coming along tonight. You know, it's been such a such a crazy year.